God, our maker, you guide us as the sheep of your fold. When we stray into rebellion and unbelief, bring us back and restore us, that we may follow your ways and listen to the voice of our shepherd who gives us eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 94. O Lord of Benjamin God, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world. Give to the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked go on? How long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evil words are full of false They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your very home. They kill the widow and the stranger, and put the orphans to death. And they say the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you most brutish people, you fools, when will you be wise? Does the one who planted the ear not hear? Does the one who formed the eye not see? Does the one who disciplines the nations not punish? Does the one who teaches all humankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts. 
I'm like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you discipline, O oh Lord, those whom you teach from your law. You give them rest in evil days, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your very home. For judgment will again be just, and all the upright of heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evil doers? If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped. Your steadfast love, O oh Lord, upheld me. When anxious thoughts fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a seat of injustice be allied with you? One which frames evil into law. They conspire against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold. My God is my rock of refuge. Who will turn back their wickedness against them and destroy them and their own sin? The Lord our God will destroy them. Almighty God, do not abandon your people, but defend us from the power of the enemy. Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross of Christ and be filled with your peace now and always, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures, and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, you give us new birth in the waters of baptism. You anoint us with oil, and you nourish us at your table with heavenly food. In your goodness and mercy, Dispel the shadows of evil and death, and lead us along safe paths, that we may rest securely in you, and dwell in the house of the Lord now and forever, for your name's sake. Amen. A reading from Jeremiah. Woe 
to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Ephesians. Remember that at one time, you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands. Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. And when they got out of the boat, 
People at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went into the villages or the cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You have been called a rule through the living and abiding word of God. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from our high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. To show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray.
mighty God of mercy. We thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children. And bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. O God, powerful and compassionate, you shepherd your people, faithfully feeding and protecting us. Heal each of us and make us a whole people, that we may embody the justice and peace of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us co-workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence to use the resources of nature so that no one may suffer from our abuse of them and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, by our baptism into the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you turn us from the old life of sin. Grant that we who are reborn to new life in him may live in righteousness and holiness all our days. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown, Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Ever living God, author of creation, we give you thanks for your gift of water that brings life and refreshes the earth. We bless and praise you. For by water and the word, we are cleansed from sin and receive everlasting life. Join us again this day to the saving death of Christ. Renew in us the living fountain of your grace. And raise us with Christ Jesus to live in newness of life. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory, through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now, how, and forever. Amen. Awake, O sleeper, arise from death, and Christ shall give you life. So learn his love, its length and breadth, its fullness, depth and height. To us on earth he came to bring, from sin and fear release, to give the Spirit's unity, the very bond of peace. There is one body and one hope, one spirit and one call, one Lord, one faith and one baptism, one God who made us all. Then walk in love as Christ has loved, who died that he might save, with kind and gentle hearts forgive, as God in Christ forgave. For us Christ lived, for us he died, and conquered in the strife. Awake, arise, go forth in faith, and Christ shall give you life. Almighty God, who gives us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgives us all our sins, Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer at Matins this eighth Sunday after Pentecost. I hope that you'll be able to join us for our service of Holy Communion today at 10 o'clock, either in person or on a Zoom call, the link to which is in the description below. We also provide evening and night prayer that is Vespers and Compline every Sunday, and those can also be used as daily devotions throughout the week. We also have weekly messages that are reported, that I report uh, as a video, and those go up um, normally on Wednesday, so those provide some reflections and some kind of talks and some interesting topics. We are currently in the process of you know, the summer reopening, whatever that looks like. And so as we discern, please keep this ministry in prayer. If you'd like to make some contributions, you can contact us through our website, which you'll find a link to in the description below. That will give you everything you need to get started and knowing more about us and how to contact us. And if you'd like to financially support the ministry of this congregation, you can find information about that also in the description below. I hope you'll join me again soon. Until the next time. God bless.